Patellofemoral pain syndrome, otherwise known as runner's knee, is a condition that affects the knee joint and specifically the bottom of the thigh bone and the top of the shin bone and the joint that sits deep behind the kneecap and this is called your patellofemoral joint. And when we run, the joint glides up and down or your patella glides up and down within a groove called your trochlear groove. In the early stages of patellofemoral pain syndrome, the symptoms that you'll get are often a, a vague dull achiness to the front of the kneecap and it will often be something that you might struggle to actually kind of put your fingers on or actually pinpoint. It might just feel deep into the knee somewhere. In some cases, the condition can become more severe and in these scenarios, you may get some swelling, the pain may become more acute and more sharp and you might experience pain during movements such as bending, going downstairs and especially when weight bearing doing these movements. The biggest cause of patellofemoral pain syndrome is normally an issue with the biomechanics, whether that be an issue with the control through the hip or an issue that's feeding down into the knee as well. Typically, this can be a restriction or a tightness through the front of the hip, through the hip flexor muscles, that then feeds its way down into the IT band that starts to pull and track the kneecap more laterally. As with all of these running related injuries, it very much depends on the severity of your symptoms. In the early stages of the condition, you might find that it's just quite a low level ache and symptoms don't worsen when you're running. However, if things progress and you're getting that kind of locking, the catching and that swelling as you're running or after you're running, then my advice would be to, to rest and to seek expert advice. So the first line of defence with any running related injury should be to modify your training. And that might be just initially just reducing your load or just reducing the amount of hills that you're running at the minute. Then looking beyond that, looking at more the biomechanical causes, it's looking at the strength through the glute muscles, those lateral stabilising glute muscles that control the knee position. It's also then looking at the mobility through these tissues, releasing through the outer quad muscles, releasing through that kind of outer IT band, and then working on the kneecap itself, working on the mobility of the patella um, and getting things moving more there. So the best exercise is to work on the mobility in and around the hip are things like the kneeling hip flexor stretch where you can really work on that length through the front of the hip and also getting a roller into your quad muscles and those outer quad muscles as well, really to release those off and get those layers of muscle gliding and sliding better over one another. And you can also then more locally get into those, those kind of lower fibres of the IT band, right where they kind of blend into that outer part of the kneecap, the ones that really tighten up and start to pull that kneecap more laterally.